All right, a lot of times um, I'll go through my system just to clean up and so forth. I'll go through random directories. A lot of times when you uninstall an application itself, um, it'll still leave directories behind, application data directories, uh, directories in your program files, Windows, registry itself. And uh, a lot of times I'll just scour my whole system, every directory on my system to find whatever files I don't really need. And uh, not only does it, it um, you know, let me delete whatever content I don't need, but also familiarizes myself with the actual operating system, the structure and the hierarchy and so forth. And you find, out, find a lot of stuff you didn't actually know about. Um, for instance, with Windows 7, I noticed I was going to my C drive and uh, I had, first off, let me show you all. If you go to views, make sure you ha have your uh, high protected operating systems unchecked. Um, then from here I went to, uh, what was it, I think it was a uh, program data, here we go, program data and application data. And if you actually double click on this, it'll create a repeating loop of application datas. Now um, previous to this I was doing some research on uh, junctions, symbolic links and so forth. I was reading the latest issue of CPU Magazine, Computer Power User, and they were discussing, um, they were discussing symbolic links, um, junctions, hard links and so forth that's incorporated into the operating system itself since the Vista release even though it's been you know known for a long time it just wasn't so much incorporated into the actual operating system release but it was available in Linux, uh, Unix and so forth but anyways you keep clicking on this so just keep breaking it down and down and down and one initially would think that this is just um, a directory within a directory, a mere directory and like okay I need to delete all this stuff but what in reality what this actually is is what's called a hard link junction and a hard link junction, I was actually going to make a video in regards to this for malicious causes, like if you want to play, play a prank on your friend. But really what you, all you need to do is if you left click on start and open up your command prompt, CMD, in your run field, you can uh, create your own symbolic uh, and soft link, hard links and so forth. Um, basically, it, uh, just to clarify what it is exactly, is a symbolic link. You have a, well, you have directory junctions, which basically makes it seem like the directory you can specify one directory and it's treated as though it's another directory for instance if I were to go to my C drive and I was gonna create a test folder let's just name it test and then I'm gonna create another folder and name it testing spelled correctly so I have these two separate folders now normally I can go to my test folder I can save a document and then I can go to my testing folder and you know, save a different document, it'll remain that way. It's treated as two separate items. However, if I create a, a junction, like what's, for instance, for in this case, we're going to create a, uh, a hard link junction, a directory junction. I can just type in MK link, which would be make link, take that off caps, and slash J, which would be the uh, junction. I think we can just, yeah, here we go. You'll see here J is a directory junction, H would be a hard link instead of a symbolic link, and D would be the symbolic link. That's a, what's considered a soft link. Now, the H, the H um, flag basically uh, will refer to the actual document itself. And whenever you update data into one document, it updates into another document as though they're the same. So f for this instance, though, we're going to create a directory junction. So I can just type in MK link slash J space and specify the directory, spelled correctly, of course. Okay, so I have a uh, MK links space slash J for directory junction, and I'm gonna specify a C test and C testing. Hit enter, and actually cannot create a file in that file. I think I have to delete one of them. Uh, I think it's test. Let's try that one. Let's try this again. Okay, junction created. So basically now, whenever, if I were to create a test directory or specify a test directory, it would take me straight to the testing directory. So for instance, I could type in here, test, and I'd see a directory. Now, what, what's odd about this is if I go to my C drive, you know, initially there wasn't a test directory in there, but now it does show. Now all this test directory is, it isn't a separate directory, it's actually the testing directory. So when you when you double click on this, it's sort of like if you update a HTTP access form for a website. It, it it makes it it you seem like you're in a different directory, but if you were to create a file in here, let's just create a blank text document. There we go. And switch back to our testing directory. You'll see the documents there. It's not synchronized. It's not like two different directories that keep synchronized. It's actually the testing directory. So this 
even though it says test, is actually the testing directory. It's treated as the same directory as one because it's, it's a junction. And that's exactly what happens with their application folder here. If we go to the program data application data, we feel like we're going, we're going through a loop, but we're just actually going through directory junctions, hard link junctions. And the same applies to like um, your, uh, your profile itself. Um, you, with, you, you notice in uh, Windows XP, you have the uh, C documents, the settings, your username, and then uh, you have like my documents and so forth. And it was replaced with this, with your user profile. Now, there are still applications that like to install crap into your documents and settings, my documents. Um, however, the name's different. What they did for that is they created a junction. So whenever they specify that directory, it actually copies it into this directory. So the application feels like it can install into this directory because it, it technically exists, but it's actually in junction with the uh, devil directory. So it just writes to this directory, causing avoiding any complications. So if I were to switch back to my C drive here and try, actually I'm going to have to remove the directory. I think I can, I don't even have to specify the C drive, but um, if I were to create a soft, a symbolic link, oh my god, dude, I swear I suck at this shit. Okay, so we have a symbolic link created. Now, symbolic link, if we go to the C drive, you don't have a test directory in here. However, if you specify C colon test, You'll see that this document's here again from the testing directory, even though we removed that directory, and here it is again. Now, this, the, the symbolic link itself is similar to that of the hard link or the uh, directory junction. It's almost exactly similar. However, in this instance, it's not, these aren't the same directory. This is just redirecting you to the de testing directory. So it'll show as an actual shortcut. Now, th this, this file does exist, this, this folder icon. And when we double click on it, it isn't, we're not in the testing directory. It's just redirecting us to the testing directory. So this is its own separate directory. It's just showing us tests, even though technically it's just redirecting us to the testing directory. So it's, it's, it's similar in a way, but it's at the same time different, slightly different. And like I said, there's also the, uh, the H flag we could throw in there. And the, the hard link, basically, if we were to update this document in the test directory, it would update into the testing directory. So it creates a hard link uh, junction in there as well. So um, that, I mean, I just wanted to kind of go over that really quick. Uh, I thought the make link uh, uh, feature is actually kind of cool. I just wanted to kind of go over that just to show like how you can come across different issues while you know learning about the operating system, randomly going through directories, um, doing miscellaneous tasks on your computers. You'll come across different problems. You'll research and understand it. You'll overall grasp a better concept of how the operating system works, learn more about things doing it that way rather than just researching and reading from a book. Start exploring, start experimenting, you know, coming across different problems, and from there you'll learn about things you never learned about. And once you learn about those things, you'll start, you know, diving into other different aspects, and you kind of, your knowledge grows from there. So I just want to make a quick video on that. I thought the whole application data thing was pretty cool and the make link, so I just want to share that with you all, and I hope you all enjoyed. Mushroom hat bangers. Subscriber. Uh, uh, well, die. <laughs>